Hey guys, this is Brother Jim here with Living Water Ministries in Wells, Texas. And uh, we appreciate you tuning in with us today for this fourth part of uh, Finding Foundations. Man, you know what? I'm, I'm loving this series. And there's just good everyday living principles for us to be found in this Word of God. And so if you haven't already, and I ask you to like this video uh, and subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be notified uh, every time that we uh, put up a new video. We are going to continue to bring these uh, teachings to you about finding foundations. And uh, hit the notification bell also. And uh, we, you know what? We're just so grateful, thankful for everybody that's partnered with us. And going to ask you to just uh, hang on. We're going to dive off into this Word of God here in just a moment. God bless. Hey guys, welcome back. Brother Jim here at Living Water Ministries here in East Texas. And uh, we're just so grateful to have you partnering with us here in this fourth part of Finding Foundations. If you would, go down below in the comments and let us know where you're watching from. And we want to get to know you better. And if you will just stay tuned here for a minute, we're going to go ahead and dive off into these scriptures here out of the book of James chapter 4. So we find ourselves here in the book of James in the fourth chapter, starting with the seventh verse. He says, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So as we begin to look at this seventh verse here, you know, uh, one of the most important things that we, we have to realize is that we're never going to be able to move anywhere in the kingdom of God without submitting ourselves to God. You know, too much uh, designer religion has gone on and, and we just kind of mix and, and uh, mash things around the way that we feel like we want it to be. But I'm persuaded we're, we're living in a time right now where we really need to make sure that our life is focused on God. Not just having the kind of relationship that uh, God shows up whenever I'm in trouble or I start looking for him or calling on him when I've got a problem. You know, there, there's been too much of that already going on. But we're to actually submit to God and live a submitted lifestyle. Just meaning that if God uh, speaks to me, if God moves on me, if God sends somebody in my pathway, then I'm, I'm already ready. I'm looking for God to show up in my day. I'm, I'm starting my day out with a prayer life and asking God, God, what would you have me to do? I'm looking for the manifestations of God in everything that I do. But then it says also to resist the devil and he will flee from you. You know, so many times we we call it this one, oh, the devil's after me, I need this, I need that, and uh, what, can you help me send the prayer team over, sp send prayer cloths, send all of this, and you know, all of that. And I'm not saying none of that is valid, but what I am saying is we have a responsibility to resist the devil, and he will flee. The Word of God's very clear right there. And then he says here in verse 8, draw nigh unto God and he'll draw nigh unto you. That means get close to him. Do your part. Do what you need to do to get close to God. Well, Brother Jim, I'm not real sure how to how to go about that. Well, I'm going to tell you. You start with the previous verse by resisting the devil. We've got to get that mix out of our mix. Uh, we resist the devil. We stop doing some of the things that we know is not God. You know, a lot of times when we're looking for the will of God, and uh, we're, we're not sure what that is, but very often we know what it's not. And so what I'm submitting to you today is that don't do things that you know goes against the will of God. Resist the devil. Don't get drawn into that. Don't get pulled off in another direction and think that, uh, well, maybe I just, this isn't that bad. No, it said draw nigh to God. Get, get, get as close to God as you can. 
draw, you do your part. It says, if you'll draw nigh to God, he'll draw nigh to you. You do your part, God will do his part. Amen. I hope you believe that today because what we're really talking about right here is we're laying the, uh, building the forms, if you will, for the foundation. And, uh, you know, we're talking about finding foundations. Well, sometimes uh, uh, we have to understand what goes into a foundation. What does it take to make that foundation right? And what does it need? Well, it needs to be solid. It needs to be level and it needs to be squared up. Come on, somebody. It needs to be squared up. The corners need to, to match. And so how do we get this to match up? How do we get it to, to be, uh, in the right shape the way that, how do we get it level? And, and where do we even start with that? sometimes church? We just, we need to get back to the very fundamentals of things. And, you know, he said in, uh, in Revelation, he said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And, you know, to, to begin that relationship of drawing nigh to God and him drawing nigh to us, sometimes we have to understand that we, we need to go to the door and we need to open the door and allow him to come in. We need to uh, uh, accept God, not as an appendage to our life, not as a uh, somebody that's going to just um, be there when we need somebody, but that we dedicate our lives to him. He said, uh, submit yourselves therefore unto God and resist the devil. So the submission means that I come under his leadership and, uh, and I open that door. When he comes to the door and is knocking, I open that door and I, and I let him come in. I let him come and be a part of who I am and what I am. And sometimes, you know what? I have to go ahead and step into his realm. I have to go ahead and allow God to speak to me. Allow him to be a part of my life and stop trying to figure it all out on my own. Stop trying to make it be what I want it to be and submit myself to what he says that I'm to be. You know, church, I'm not fancy. I'm not uh, uh, trying to make something happen. But I want to keep myself available for God. I believe that's part of the submission, that we submit ourselves to God. And then whatever his plan is, whatever he says, whatever he dictates into our life, we go with that. We, we yield ourselves over to that and say, God, I'm yours. Take me. Make me, shape me, mold me into what you want me to be. You were talking about the foundation there. And I, and I want to stay with this foundation. And this foundation of submission has to do with not us not calling the shots. Us not trying to decide uh, what God's going to do or how he's going to do it. So how do we make sure that this thing is square? And how do we make sure that it's level? How do we make sure that it's solid? One, it needs to be on the rock. And it, it talked about Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. Do we understand today what a chief cornerstone is? And in reality, everything is measured. That, that cornerstone is set. And then everything is measured from that. And so uh, that's how you bring the right uh, shape, the right height, to all the other stones, all the other stones are measured by that cornerstone. Hallelujah. That's the go-to. So when you go to the, to the uh, right and you set a, uh, the right corner, and then you go over to the left and set that, and you, ne you need to set the one on the far side, they're not simply measured from uh, those other two, but it goes back to the original pattern. It goes back to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You may be on the far side of the foundation, but you're still measured by Jesus Christ. Glory to God. He is the standard for the body of Christ. Nothing else. Nothing else is the standard but him. 
Only Him. Hallelujah. He manifests through His Word of God, through prophecy. I still believe in prophecy. I still believe in in people with a, a prophetic gift. I still believe in the, in the apostle having a voice and, and a, a, a strategist in the body of Christ. I still believe in the teacher, the evangelist, and the pastor. And they all have their fivefold function. And it's not about who's uh, first in the process, but it, it really is about uh, how what does God need at that time? What does he need? Does he need a teacher to come in and settle things? Does he need a, an evangelist to come in and rev things up a little bit, get people excited and, uh, get them, get them off of their, uh, their, uh, laziness, if you will. I'll just go ahead and say it. And, but we're looking today for a church. Hallelujah. See, we see all the problems all over the world. And he said, though where sin does abound, grace does much more abound. I believe the scripture, you know. And so uh, we're, we're looking around this planet. We're looking for people that have a mindset that I want more of God. I want to draw nigh to God. Hallelujah. I'm looking for people that, that have a vision that he's coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, or any such thing, holy and without blemish. I'm looking for somebody that says, you know what, uh, I'm, I'm tired of the same old, same old. I'm tired of just having church and going home and and still facing all the same fears. See, he, he said very clearly, fear not, little flock. Hallelujah. And, and so why did he say that? Because he said, you know, if you'll follow my will, if you'll submit to me, I will live in your hearts. Hallelujah. And when situations come up, you're going to know that you have what you need to get through it. Glory to God. I'm I guess I'm old school in that aspect that uh, I'm not playing games. I'm not looking for uh, somebody to give me a goose bump. I'm not trying to just get revved up or excited so I can make it through the week. But I'm trying to draw nigh to God and let him draw nigh to me. Hallelujah. So the more that we submit to God, the more that we realize that he already has a plan. He has our best interest at heart. Hallelujah. And he not only has a plan, but we're in the plan. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29, 11 said, I know the plans that I have for you. Glory to God. And, and, and those plans have to do with a life. They have, they have to do with a, a, a glorious life. They have to do with uh, health and prosperity and all of these things. But we can't, uh, we can't get there. We can't get on that foundation if we will not submit to God, won't happen. We can't get there if we won't draw nigh to God. See, submitting to God really means drawing nigh to God, drawing close to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, and I've, I've been guilty of it in the past of just, and my problem's so big, I just sit and wring my hands. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And in reality, I just need to draw nigh to God. I need to get close to Him. And I need to let God love me. I need to begin to understand what it is that God's trying to do. Hallelujah. You know, I, I'm just so, so uh, thankful today for everything that God has uh, shown me through the years. But there's so many things right now that I see, I see a world that needs stability. My God needs stability. The boat is rocking and reeling. Waves are crashing against it. Some of it's coming over in the boat. And I see Christians that are drifting off of the foundation because of fear. Church, we've got to get back to thus saith the Lord. We've got to get back and say, God, I submit to you. Hallelujah. I tried my thing. I went my direction. I submit to you and I ask you, God, to take my life and put it back together the way you want it to be. Help me, God, to understand who you are in the beauty of your holiness. Hallelujah. You know what? I'm having a good time with this Finding Foundation series. I'm going to ask you again, if you've not already, uh, subscribe to this channel, share this video with somebody and uh, uh, 
ring the notification bell also when we post another video. Try to get one out every week. I'm doing some little short ones along the way also, but we want you to understand what God wants for you. And uh, so listen, I'm gonna put the, uh, uh, in the description down below, I'll put for those that uh, wanna help support this ministry, I'll put those links down in there. Uh, if you want to send us an email, go to our website. I'll put that in the description also. We love you. We love you. I want to have a word of prayer with you before we go here today. Father, we just thank you and we love you today, God. And we love your people. And Lord, we want you to just continue to uh, help us to understand better. Help us to stop looking other directions, Lord, and help us to focus on you that we keep our, our eyes straight on who you are. Hallelujah. That we continue to submit ourselves to you, God. That we continue to resist the devil and that he would flee from us. And that as we draw nigh to you, that you draw nigh to us. Hallelujah. Thank you for foundation, God. Thank you for foundation teachings. Thank you for loving us. And thank you for your spirit living in our hearts. Lord, we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, church, and right here in East Texas, we're still keeping the faith. God bless. <music>